Ask Reddit. Those of you who have run from the cops and didn't get caught, what's your story? I was trespassing in the park after dark with some friends. Two police officers showed up and flashed their lights, so we ran around a baseball field to get away. We noticed they were following us, so we all hid under those orange construction barrels you see along the highway. Minutes felt like hours to a young teenager running from the long arm of the law. My mom was speeding, and the cop was heading towards her. He turns his lights on, but has to go a ways further to U-turn. My mom speeds up being only a couple blocks from home. We see him U-turn, just before we turn the corner. We pull into the garage and close the door, and see the cop drive by less than a minute later with no clues. Sounds like GTA, when you drive into a spray shop just in time, to get a new color for your car. I had just gotten off of the highway, driving 70, and was on this frontage road, and was still in the fast driving mode. A cop goes by in the opposite direction, and I immediately look at my speed, and see that I'm doing 65 in a 45. I wasn't speeding on purpose, just in a kind of cruise. I see him slow down. My destination wasn't far away, so I put the hammer down, just in time to see him pull a U-turn. I got up to about 90 before I had to pull into the place I was going. They had the garage door open already, I pulled in and jumped out and slammed the door down. My friends were giving me the care to explain face, just in time to the cop fly past at about 90 with lights on. I waited about 6 hours before I went home. House party in high school. About 30 to 40 kids in a basement drinking, smoking. Suddenly cops walk down the stairs, someone just let them in. Tell us to sit tight and nobody go anywhere. Cops walk back upstairs. We're all wasted. I finagle a window open and help my friends and a couple braid souls up and out. I get out, run for a fence my friends just hopped. Cop grabs me, pulls me back into the house. Neglect to put me back in the basement. It's my friend's house, so I pretend to belong. Open the fridge, grab a Mountain Dew. Cop walks in with a bag of 100 breathalyzer tubes. I meander to the living room by the front door. Wait for the clear, casually walk out the front door. Make it three steps and spotlight hits me. Cop yells at me. I meander back in, just by the front door. Spotlight turns off. I wait 5 seconds. Fucking bolt out the front door again. Leap off front porch, sprint through front yards for 4 blocks, until I'm in a field. Lay flat and call friends. Cops patrol by with spotlight, can't see me, go back to the house. Friends pick me up. I have a lot these we were really good at almost getting. Caught for stupid shit. Escaped a house party surrounded by cops. Edit, this was early 2000s in a suburb in the United States. They took underage drinking very seriously. If caught, you got a minor in possession ticket. Fine and court fees were $300 to $500. So 30 plus tickets that night would net the county quite a bit of cash. We had a lot of kids showing up in hospitals with alcohol poisoning around that time too. So they were trying to help, maybe. Ended up going to a massive kegger, 500 plus people, in the middle of nowhere Iowa. Shortly after we arrived, about 10 or so sheriffs showed up and began getting plate numbers slash handing out public intox tickets and mips. I hopped in my trusty little 93 feet Gia storm and waited for the sheriff by the field, in trance to get a little ways away from his vehicle before slapping it in first and dumping the clutch. Made it about half a mile from my friend's house before I looked up and spotted cherries in my rear view mirror. At this point, I figured there was no point in running, so I conceded and pulled over. Turns out that particular sheriff was on his way to a separate call. Biggest sigh of relief, ever. Obligatory not me, but I was in the military as medical on a training course. Nearly all of us were normally civilian doctors and nurses with limited real military training as far as combat readiness. Part of the course was a nighttime escape and a vade exercise that was basically hide and seek in the woods. They flew over a helicopter for noise distraction and had taught us some fundamentals, then gave us a red card and informed us that there were US marines out there looking for us who got rewarded for collecting red cards from every dumbass they detected. We had 2 hours to cross the woods and reach a lighted tower without being spotted. The winner was a guy who just walked to the light tower without hiding 
while loudly muttering about the stupid fucking marines and the stupid training exercise and he just wanted to have a cheeseburger. All the marines assumed that he was already detected and had his card pulled and they focused on idiots like me trying to sneak around. He walked up to the officer at the light tower and handed in his red card for the victory. I was 17 and drinking a beer at a bar known for serving minors. There were four of us near the entrance. Cop enters and grabs the two closest by the arms. I turn around and calmly head for the back door. Once I hit the back door I ran as fast as I could for about 15 seconds and dove down and laid as flat as I could and put my head down. The bar was on the back edge of town and behind it was a field with really tall bushes slash foliage. The cop came back and flashed his light around. He kept on repeating I see you, get up. I was hoping he was bluffing, so I stayed down and was luckily was correct. I felt pretty dumb. After finding out the other kids who got caught were just told to go home with nothing more than that. He kept on repeating I see you, get up. Same thing happened to me and my friends after getting caught TPing on Halloween. None of us moved. Turns out those spotlights on their cars are really bright and he could see us just fine. I didn't necessarily run away, but when I was about 16 to 17 years old, I was walking home one night after a party with some friends and the cops pulled up alongside us. They got out and immediately started searching us and asking what we were doing out so late. Everyone had weed on them, but ditched it as soon as they pulled, except me. I had mine in like a stash pocket in my hoodie. It would have been too obvious to dig it out and dump it, so I just played it cool and left it. When the cop searched me, he kind of just did a half-assed pat down. We hadn't really done anything wrong and our ID showed that we lived in the area, so they just got back in their car and drove off. Everyone was kind of bummed about ditching their weed, so I didn't say anything until we got back to my buddy's house. When we walked through the door I just pulled it out and held it up in the air. Everyone was stoked and I was pretty chuffed with myself. Then we all got high. The end. A party got busted on spring break and I budgied out the back door when the cops were filing everyone else out the front. Hopped a fence and ran into a neighborhood security man who was quite out of shape. He asked if I was running from the cops as the blue lights flash behind us. I say of course not he asks for mine and I promptly turn heels and run again. This is where it gets good. Drunk me decided that I needed to run in zigzags to dodge any taser shots and sure enough, I cut to my right and the taser line hits the ground next to me. Turned my head to see the fat guard's mouth opened and ran 2 miles back to my hotel room. Safe and sound. Edit. Fell asleep in this blow up lol. Thanks for the gold nearest stranger. Also cops came for a noise complaint. It was a large rental house in a neighborhood and cops getting called on spring breakers is very normal. For those wondering why he shot the taser, this is America. My brother got a taser pulled on him by the school resource officer for jokingly taking his shirt off in high school. Not saying it's right but it's fairly common for excessive use of force. Am I the only one imagining the security guard's face looking something like that Pikachu meme? Edit. Thanks for my first ever gold and silver. Used to live right by a lake. Every night, we would go smoke at this shitty beach that you had to climb rocks to get down to a really safe spot, but not much of a view. A few blocks down, there was an actual city park with a nice beach at the end and an absolutely gorgeous view of the Toronto skyline. It was so wonderful I mention how we are dumb for never using this spot. So we start setting up the bar and spreading our stuff out when my roommate says dude I think the cops are here. I'm usually the paranoid one who says that, but this time I turn to him and laugh now nah man you're just paranoid. And then I turn to the parking lot to see a cop flying up to the end of it. We were smoking illegally and trespassing since it was after park close, so we instantly booked it. There's a setup of large rocks around the lake. I'm holding the backpack, barn, and grinder as I run across them and then just start throwing everything down between the rocks as I'm running. We ran about a block on these rocks and hid under a tree for 40 minutes. We went back home, but we weren't quite done. If we just left our stuff on the rocks, some stoner would take it in the morning. So we went back a couple hours later and I fell in the lake trying to recover all my stuff. I got everything back except the grinder 